troubled up there. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. And I'm Eric Stromer. Now, have you ever been to the website projectdecor.com? No. What is this place? I what want is this you to. Magical place? It's a great place to dream. Okay. And it's free. What is it again? It's called projectdecor.com. Right okay. And what it does, um, it, it basically allows you to create dream boards so you can start oh, planning cool. and decorating your rooms, right? And so thought we could talk about how do you create a dream room? And if you haven't seen the movie uh, Saving Mr. Banks, all about Mary Poppins and Walt Disney, great, great really? movie. Really? I, I can't so wait. So sweet, Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson. But it got me thinking, you know, Walt Disney was really big on having a room that was all about, in fact, he called it his dream room. That's so cool. And it was a designated space to dream. And it was a, an open room that he and his staff were allowed to do just dreaming. There was no criticizing. There's no, you know, oh, that's a bad idea. You know, it was just about uh, possibilities, right? Right. And he knew that the mind worked in that way that you needed to kind of have anchors so that, like, there's a creative space, so negativity can't be there, right? Just mm-hmm. the great big ideas. But then have, like, a reality room, you know, where there's uh, storyboards and, and planners on the walls. Right. I'll tell you, this is interesting to me because this is kind of how I always viewed my kids' rooms. Like, you know, at a certain point when they have their own free will and their they're kind of making their own ideas yeah. and taste, that's when I think it's time to have, to have parents let go uh-huh. and not control the look and feel of their kid's room. It's like, I think it's probably around eight, nine years old, mm-hmm. right? You know, let them have, have you know, let them honor their own space by creating and painting and let them do whatever they want mm-hmm. so that you can shut the door if, if the company comes and it looks crazy. But it's their space to dream and become who they want to become. And you know? even when you're a grown-up kid, right, you right. still need to have your dream space, whether it's a back deck, you know what I mean, or it's your home office, or it's part of the kitchen or the living room. But just think about that, because now this is going to give you that area, you know, uh, where you can just... The possibilities are endless, right? Right. And and the creativity just goes, and you can just have fun, and that can be whether it's your man cave, your woman cave, or whatever. So let's say, for instance, that you, t- you want to create uh, that kind of a space um, for kids, right? You can do that for kids. You can do it for you. Uh, the key, though, is just to, you know, have that endless possibility, that, that dream room. Right, and and to that point, dream rooms not, aren't necessarily going to be completely organized and perfect. They're going to spill over and have rough edges, and you know, rounded edges. Not everything's not going to be square and perfect. So, so again, give yourself permission to have that kind of a space, and you know, that can be also referred to as a man cave. Mm-hmm. And I have one of those in my own life, which is essential. I've got music, musical instruments, and you know things that I, I like to do for mm-hmm. me and it gives me a chance to let my mind become fluid and not you know be restricted by the space the way it feels and the way it looks but it's open and and artistic mm-hmm. you know? and it's funny it, it really does the way that your room is laid out it starts to change how you feel you I know agree. it changes yeah. how you think it changes how you look at the world how you look at yourself how you like when i come home for instance and if that if the kitchen counter is all like cluttered and things are there it just totally makes me feel stressed you know yeah i, I don't frantic. think the kitchen's a place that shouldn't have order i think that's one of the spaces that should yeah. definitely have structure and order and a place to put everything so that may not be your dream room no, you know no. <laughs> but but if you are trying to create let's say uh, an area for kids you know like you say um have the kids get involved in the process so that they have ownership of it right exactly and you know art supplies let them pick and, the colors yeah color color choice art supplies what posters you put on you know, I my my older guy Wyatt, he actually paints things on his wall all the time, and, and then and then changes it, paints over it, and does something new. And like a, a great thing to do for for a kid is to get a, a slide projector and put an image on your computer. These things hook into computers now, and you can then shine that image on the wall. And actually, a lot of artists use this technique where you're we're projecting an image that you like that you maybe want to try and recreate, and then you can literally trace on the wall that image that you've got projected on there and then take it away ultimately and fill it in with color 
and it gives you a real great rendition of what you're trying to capture from the perspective angle, right? All the angles and the shapes and the perspective is going to be correct, and then you can use your creativity to fill it in. So that's a great great thing to do. And if you go to this website, projectdecor.com, so basically all it is is they, they ask you just to sign up. I mean, it's free. But what I love about it is um, you could say you click on children's room you know, or bedroom, right? and you, it just gives you the options of the room. And it's almost like playing with um, with dolls and stick clothing, right? Oh, so you, yeah, yeah. So it gives you a room, yeah. and then you just drag and drop different pieces of furniture or colors or rugs and lighting, and that's going to help you figure out and dream how whatever space you want to make can look. Great idea. It's just like an inspiration tool. Sure, You sure. know, so I love that idea. Yeah, and then it gives you a chance to practice and rehearse without actually physically doing it, and then you can maybe start to see what you're Tre- tendencies and trends are mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. that's when you can go out and acquire things to get that look and feel right you because it, there don't you know that it seems that there always is kind of a thread of continuity that all, all of a sudden you'll go whoa eric seems to always like to pick blue or right. you know wyatt always seems to like this you kind of at, over time you can see kind of a continuity and then now after you've laid it out you can go like you say buy the stuff right. instead right. of uh you know trial and error you can save some a little bit of money that way. Yeah, it was really it was really interesting when my son, my older guy, decided, you know, Dad, I want to paint my own room. And then he picked the color and, you know, all of a sudden it went from me always having to pick up the room to a guy that really honored his own space and participated in now taking care of it. And it's never been – I couldn't keep it as clean as he does because it's his space and he loves what's in there and he loves to have all the things that he put there. So I think – the the parents if you lose if you let go of control of that space magical things can happen you know but you have to be aware that it's going to be totally different than what you thought you know so that that seemed like a good thing to do so regardless of age the step 1 is to first think like where in your place can you create a dream room and then think about all right so do i have space for it if you don't have space for it, maybe it's like maybe it's a patio, maybe it's a side area, right? Maybe you don't have enough uh, area in your home. To, it could even be a, pot, a pottery, a place to you know pot, pot plants. Uh-huh. It could be that. That a could be a dream bench. space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, an area that, like you say, that is uh, that is criticism free and a chance for creativity to happen. I think that's a great idea because talk about creativity in the garden, right? You can have your little potting bench and you can have like the different tools and, you know, some seeds and maybe even have a photo of your dream garden. And this can now be your place just to kind of dream and go wild, be creative. Yeah. Garages, perfect spot. Especially for, for, you know, guys that it's, – it's funny because I see it at my kids' school, all these dads that had these dreams of being rock and roll stars. And then all of a sudden they've, tra- they've turned their garages into, you know, like garage a band, session? a jam band place, <laughs> right? And it's like, man, my dad's playing Grateful Dead again. I guess we can't do anything in there. But, you know, to that, it's a, a place where you can, like, I, like we're both talking about, you know, just honor that, you know, crazy creative part of your, of your body that – needs a place to hang mm-hmm. out and escape, you know, and it gives you just a chance to, if I to hear... Have it, to have expression. Yeah, to have expression. Maybe right. you, all you have By is... By the way, a, your garage. It's wow. looking okay. I saw it the other day, and man, talk about expression. That's a yeah. beauty. It's looking you okay. You did a nice job um, in there. Thanks. And I think, you know, maybe if you wanted to have, you don't have a garage, or all you have is a closet. I mean, gosh, you can do wonders by turning a closet now, maybe, into your dream space. Right. Maybe that is an area where you have a crafting desk, you know, or this is where you wrap, you like to wrap presents or, you know, write notes to friends. I mean, very old school, right? Writing sure. letters. Yeah. Things like that can be your own little dream space. I, I'll tell you, when I receive a handwritten note, it freaks me out. It, it feels like someone really cares. Mm-hmm. It's a whole different feeling, isn't it? Like Christmas cards. Yeah. Right? It makes a big difference mm-hmm. when hand, you know, it's like, oh my God, hand, people are using handwriting, you know, instead of the the you know uh, PDAs and the computers right. it's really or nice texting I think that yeah. just like you know record players are making a comeback I yeah. think that um, old school journal keeping I mean I grew up writing a diary did you have a diary growing you up? know I always try and then one time somebody read it and I was really I think Horrified. it was my brother and then oh. he made fun of me and then I was like you know what I'll never do this again oh, oh. <laughs> 
darn him. Yeah. Because you had feelings. I, well, who doesn't? I know. Feelings. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but that could be, maybe your little dream area is where you love to, maybe you'd like to write poetry or creative writing and sure. keep track of friends. And just think about it. I mean, really, the sky is the limit. And now, turn this area into a place that's comfortable and maybe there's a certain color that now really brings what out What would be your, your dream color for your dream room? Well, right now our home office is in this light shade of green, and mm-hmm. that's very peaceful. So I think that that is a good color to start okay, with. that's a good dream color. Um, I don't know. Maybe rainbows. I don't know. I'm, I'm open to possibilities. Well, I'll tell you, lighting makes a huge mm-hmm. difference in the dream space. So for you guys out there listening, Cindy gave me this amazing present for Christmas, which is this, this hue kit of these LED lights that you can program your iPhone to create different three light combination color palettes and I have it in my bedroom and it just becomes like my kids and I all love it we lay there and we change the setting all the time but it merely it's so relaxing and it and it, and it almost feels like that chroma therapy stuff mm-hmm. where your the light is influencing your mood so that could be a great thing too in this dream space create new lighting combinations and and take a look at this hue thing by I think it's Philips makes mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a little pricey, but man, is it it's amazing how how it makes you yeah. feel. And yeah, and then the light bulbs last forever. Practically, they sure do. Right? Yeah, fifteen to twenty five years. But uh, I think that the the color, the lighting, and just the idea of feeling like you have comfy furniture. Pillows, something like go, that. I might even recommend a bean bag. A bean bag. You know, come on. <laughs> I, uh, you know? bean bag. You know? Anyway, we have more great ideas to tell you coming up next to our Home Wizards. And by the way, go to our website, yourhomewizards.com, and email us. Let us know what you're up to, okay? Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, we love to improve your home and improve your life.